ね。No. Not mentioned just before you were about to be scrubbed by the others. However, I'm polishing here. This is not the next episode of Narkizu, side second. And the girl landed in hospital. And based on what happened in the first part of the game, we know that might be a very bad sign. Okay, I get it. No, only your responses are good. Don't forget, you aren't supposed to just out and go buy some and destroy yourself again, either. I said, I got it. Well, it's about time I go. Mm, what do you mean? Up? Ah, oh, yeah. The seventh floor. Oh crap. I see. Don't push yourself too hard now. You do. In the time of the close of that long summer. When the Higurashi were calling to the night sky, a type of psyche. Okay. Even now, I was here. And today, too. She had come. I'm coming in. Hey, you're looking well. Thanks. Oh, and the visiting gift. What? As always, you seem to be empty handed. What are you talking about? Of course. In fact, this reminds me for coming every day. Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> ah, stop that. Well then, if you brought a melon, I'd give you the perfect attendance award. Don't need that. We had a childish conversation, as she said, in a folding chair next to the bed. This sent itself, but now was becoming a familiar one. Uh, and it's a Sunday too. Sorry, Yuka. Hmm? For wasting your summer away. It's I think at all. It's not like I had any plan. But I'm always just stopping by along the way. So uh, just hurry up and go back to I'll go driving for whatever we feel again. So Beyond that, her words didn't reach my ears. I couldn't hear them as the cries of the crash in the evening raised them. It's been almost three months since I've come here. It was all so sudden, I still didn't feel the reality of it myself. Okay, that's probably where we were. So we go here, right? I think. Or Himeko 7, those two. If you look around, the leaves on the trees were turning red. And I had become quite used to life at the hospital. Even as the people who came to visit me stopped coming completely, I was still here. And again, today, those two had come. Here you go, on a chat. Today's comes with pudding. I see. But I don't want it now. Jira, eat it. Do you like pudding? No. This is on a chat dinner. You should eat it yourself. Then. If I eat this, would you buy me a meat bun from the shop? Uh, 
Don't start making strange bargains. Hey, you're looking well. You can sign. What? Are you being picky about your food and putting over it again? Yeah, that's on a chan. There is just no helping her. Look, here. <laughs> Don't be troubling Kira Chan, man. Yes, there is just no helping you. You didn't have to hit me with the corner of the tray. Hey, hurry up and eat. Eat, I'm going to cram it into your mouth. Okay, already. I was just joking before. Eat this mouth, still talking. <laughs> hey, wait, stop that! Well, Hanachan, it's about time. Okay, say hello to the doctors for me. Your channel is still continuing. Yeah, right now she's stationed on the seventh floor, so it's probably stressful. I see. That place was the hospice, right? I nodded a bit at those words. And then I fin finally brought up what had been in the corner of my heart for a while now. Because she was who she was. I wanted to tell her first. So you, you can. If just if. Someday if I am put into the seventh floor. Wait, what kind of anarchy things are you saying here? No, listen. If the time comes that I go to the seventh floor, don't come visit me anymore, okay? At those words, Yuka hung her head. I didn't want to see her sad face either. But if it really came to the that I were to go to the seventh floor, it would only make her more and more sad. To see you come that way was the only thing I didn't think I could bear. Stop it! What are you saying? In fact, I'll come every day. I got perfect attendance after all. And of course, empty handed. I never bring you anything. So, so, don't say such things. Yuka. In that small room, her sobs hung in the air. All the years we've been together. However much we've chattered all night, we had never run out of things to talk about. But for the girl crying right now, I could find no, find no, no words. Winter. Around. When the wind changed from feeling pleasant to cold. As always, the two came here. But at the end of the day, of one day, a little bit changed. Thanks for the food. Eh, you finished your broccoli too. Yeah, for I really don't like them. Hey, is there anything else you want? Mm, an ice cream from the store. And while we are at it, let's say I want a mint bun too. Okay, I'll go bun some now. Mm. I had meant that as a joke. Until now, no matter how much I asked, it was no. I'm back. 
Here, I want to buy them. Here we go. It's still warm, so it'll be good. And the ice cream. It's in the refrigerator. With your name on it. I see. Thanks. If you want anything else, just tell me, okay? Thanks. Get better quickly. Thanks. Let's go to church together again, okay? The way of speaking. It's becoming like a helper. Hmm? So, that's how things are looking, huh? No, it's not. You don't have to hide it. I hadn't been volunteering just for show, you know. Imagine. Well, it's been over half a year since I've been admitted. I had been thinking it was coming soon. Surprise, sadness, anger, desolation, loneliness. If I had to describe the feelings at that time in breath, I don't know would probably be the closest. People, when we face a difficult to accept reality, events about themselves, they may only be able to feel like outside observers. Christmas. Around when the cold winds of winter blew, and Christmas song flowed from the televisions. Even at this time, the two were always by my side. Still, I haven't been told directly yet. But the day I go to the seventh floor probably wasn't far off. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Yes, yes. Merry Christmas! Look, Anachan, I bought a cake. <laughs> that looks delicious. Hey, what are you eating? All of a sudden. Why not? There's plenty. Hey, don't take the strawberry. strawberries like it's yours. <laughs> Wait, yuka -san. I'll be dividing in on the plates, okay? Fine. Oh, that was delicious. It sure was. Even if you can eat most of it yourself. What's with that? I come on a day like this. At least let that much slide. Mm. Other rights, right about now. I'll be feasting a wonderful if away. Fasting? Feasting? Fasting? Fasting? Probably. Such lies. It's not like you've got a partner. It, it, it hurts to admit this, but I have no contact. And on a chan? Here. Huh? A Christmas present. Try to see if you can offer. Oh, I'm not sure if it came out well. Oh, no. Thanks, Chihiro. Sure. Really? Such a wonderful sister is wasted on Himeko. Quiet, you. You're the one to talk, coming empty handed as usual. No, no, the two of you. Come on, everyday exchange. A kind sister, a best friend with mouth, laughing over silly things, the picture of the many typical days that have passed over the years. What was different is that today is Christmas and this is the hospital's fifth floor. And soon, I will be headed to the seventh. Then, Jiro. 
While we're at it, there's one more thing that I want. Is it okay? Uh, what is it? The Yunos. Bring it here. I think it's in the garage. Sorry, but no matter what, I want to drive it. Opening the curtains and getting out of the city at night from the fifth floor window. In that clear winter sky, even the large face of the moon shone. And soon, this view, I probably see it from a higher place. I'll probably be gazing from a window that can only open 50 centimeters. Yeah, that's how it is on 7th floor, unfortunately. Okay, let's end this here, and we'll see what will happen again. I hope you enjoyed the story so far, and see you in the next one. Bye.